Do you feel pissed off with yourself for not remembering something that you read just last week? Do you feel exhausted to take notes while you are reading something? Do you want to know how to use the same documents in multiple projects without making multiple copies? If the answers to any of these questions are yes, then this video is for you. So in this video, I will teach you how to use Zotero smartly to manage your article and references. This video is part of my video series Build Your Second Brain. So if you miss my previous videos, you could watch it from here. So if you watch how my second brain works, then you know capture is the first step in knowledge management. So when it comes to capture something quickly, Zotero is my way to go application. So actually I tried other reference management softwares, but I found Zotero is the market leader in this domain. And on top of that, Zotero is free and open source software. That is really cool. After watching this video, I believe this is going to be your personal research assistant. And the best thing I love about Zotero is that it's actually management of article and it's annotation and natively support for PDF. So its annotation feature is so advanced that you are not going to use other tool when you will see the power of Zotero. Moreover, Zotero is actually open source platform so you will find lot of useful plugins for your specific need. Okay, enough pep talk. So now let's get to the real work. So first you have to download and install Zotero then I will show you how you can actually add article quickly. The fastest and easiest way to add any types of article in Zotero is using browser extension. So install Zotero browser extension then you can add item just by one click. Another easiest way is using drag and drop. So drop your files on Zotero it will parse all the metadata from your article. Okay, now let's get familiar with Zotero user interface. In the left side, under my library, you can organize your article by folder and subfolder. Folder and subfolder are called collection and subcollection in Zotero. Sometimes I feel that the same document is actually useful for multiple projects. I could copy the document, but the problem of making multiple copy is actually I cannot identify which version I annotated last time. So this will actually, this is the problem of making multiple copies. So I need a single source of truth for my document so that I can use the same document in multiple projects without making copies. The good thing about Zotero is you can add same article into multiple projects. It preserves the single source of truth for that article. So now you don't need to copy the article when you open a new project. After selecting an article, you will see the properties in right sidebar. All these properties are parsed automatically by Zotero. By clicking on any properties, you can modify if necessary. On top bar, you will see the title and creator properties. You can add more properties by right click on it. Let's say I want to see the year in one column. Then the search tool. It is really dynamic. You can search your reference by many fields such as author name, title, year and any other metadata. Finally, the attachments. If you are adding PDF for web article, you will see the attachment. If you double click on any file, it will open for reading. Okay, moving on. Now let me show you the cool annotation features of Zotero. When reading anything, I make a lot of annotation. There are two annotation tools you are going to use all the time. First, highlight text for highlighting line. Second, Select area tool for selecting any figure from your reading. Finally, when you are done reading, right click on the article and select add note from annotation. You will get your notes ready from your annotation with images. What type of file you could add into Zotero? Uh, practically anything related to your projects such as audio, video, image, PDF, article, news article. So your main job is to just add that into your Zotero using browser extension. Zotero will sort everything. So that's all about Zotero for today. And if you are new to my channel, I'm Shubham Dash, a full-time researcher and hobbyist YouTuber. If you like this video series, don't forget to subscribe my channel and enable bell icon so that you will get the notification. If you want to get the email notification for when I will upload new video, you can subscribe my newsletter you'll get the link below.